Hi everyone, uh, I'd like to give you a quick update on my uh, TensorFlow uh, machine learning experiments uh, with Houdini. So in this case, uh, instead of predicting node graphs, I wanted to, uh, to try something else. I wanted to try and do some object detection uh, based on images. So in this case, uh, what I've done is uh, train um, uh, a model, uh, which in this case uh, is based on YOLO, uh, to detect images. And in this case, the, the model you know, knows nothing about Windows because it's never seen any Windows before. Uh, we as humans, you know, if we were to look at this picture, we'd see, hey, that's a window, and that's a window, and that's a window, and that's a window. Well, the computer doesn't know that. So what I did yesterday is uh, label you know, 100 images manually so that you know, the computer can look at it and see, oh, okay, that's a window, and that's a window, and that's a window, and that's a window. And then the idea is that uh, if I were to show it any new images, it would detect the windows that it sees and create those binding boxes as well that you see here, right? So um, what I've done with Houdini is they added the ability of now I can you know, select any window image or any building image that I have with windows in it. And uh, it's going to kick off TensorFlow in the background. Uh, it might take a little while because it, every time it needs to cook, it reloads the entire model, which takes uh, you know, a couple of seconds. Uh, and then it does its prediction. The prediction itself takes you know less than a second, but um, the, the booting up of, of the Python process and so forth takes longer. I could of course create a server that you know just updates and does a prediction, then it would be a lot faster. Uh, but for this purpose, it didn't really matter. So what we can see here is when I changed the image to be a new image, it detected where the windows are and created um, the bounding boxes of where those images are located. And then, you know, just as a simple um, demo, it did a, a, some booleans to extract those shapes. And there we go. We can see that uh, we now have our little facade um, created there. So uh, to show you what, it, what the algorithm outputs is, uh, you know, images like these where uh, it draws rectangles around the images that it detected and the probability of um, how much of a chance it thinks uh, it's looking at a, at a real window. So as we can see, you know, 31% chance and 38% chance. The reason it's so low is because I've only trained it on uh, 100 images, right? If I usually what you do is you train this on, let's say, 60,000 images because then it would know a lot better what a window is. Uh, but for now, since I didn't want to go through and label 60,000 images, um, this um, was enough for me. Um, last little thing I wanted to show is, yeah, the output of the... Uh, the algorithm is this, which is uh, all the windows that it detected in the image. So in this case, we can see the, the bounding box coordinates of the window and the uh, confidence or the, the probability of whether or not it's, it is uh, an image or a window, sorry. And that's it. Thank you.